Hi, my name is Abigail Crane and I teach ninth grade English at Olathe West High School and I'm here to talk about standards-based grading. Um, first uh, question might be exploring the paradigm shift, um, moving from traditional grading practices to standard-based and kind of the way your mindset changes when you do. Um, for me, it was really about um, moving away from defensive grading practices where I was trying to prove to parents and to students like this is what I think you deserve um, versus students reflecting back to me um, what they have earned and what they've mastered. Um, in addition, rather than um, focusing on compliance or um, random series of points and point grabbing, um, we're moving away from that and focusing more on the skill behind assignments rather than saying, oh, you didn't answer this one question, um, so that means it's 18 out of 20. Um, now we're thinking at the whole skill and a larger picture in a much more holistic manner. For me, the aha light bulb moment when I knew I wanted to change away from traditional grading to standards based was uh, about the end of last year when I had students, um, and I guess this has happened ever since I started teaching, but it really, I just got kind of sick of it by the end of last year of kids coming and saying, what can I do to get an A? What can I do to get this? How can I do this to pass? Um, and how many points do I need? What assignments am I missing? And for me, it felt like we were playing school and we weren't actually learning anything and that the grade book was not really reflective of their ability. And I couldn't go back and look at the grade book and be able to say, well, you're weak in this area, but you need to improve in this area. Instead, I would just be like, oh, you're missing this assignment. Turn, in, turn this in and gather up these points so you can pass. Um, and now it's no longer about the learning, um, but rather it's about checking boxes and uh, compliance rather than actual mastering of skills. Um, I believe that standards-based grading is the best way to practice assessment is because um, we're no longer um, rewarding students with grades. It's not an exchange or something that I give you this if you give me this. Now it's about the learning process. Students learn to embrace learning um, rather than compliantly complete assignments just so they can get points, um, but students are enjoying the process of learning rather than just um, turning in assignments so that they can pass or earn a certain grade. Some of the challenges of standards-based grading include um, reflecting on practices daily and what you do need to assess, what you don't need to assess, starting with um, paring down your standards into the core essential things that you know you need to assess, um, and reminding yourself that you're not not teaching standards just because you're not assessing them. Um, not everything that you practice or preach or do in your classroom need to be tracked in the gradebook. Sometimes we do things just for the sake of learning and just for the sake of practice. Um, and we're building and practicing skills and not always assessing them, um, which certain light, certainly lightens the burden of grading on my part, but also takes away that compliance aspect of assignments. Um, some other challenges might be to rethink assignments and give up assignments that are no, no longer based in the standards. So if I'm having a hard time correlating an assignment or a task to a specific standard or essential outcome that I've decided upon, that tells me that maybe that isn't really worth my time anymore or my students' time um, to do in my class anymore. So learning to let go of things that maybe are not grounded in standards um, can be a challenge, especially if there's well-worn and beloved lessons or texts or what have you, um, but I think it's ultimately what's best for students.